Hello ladies, this is Solomon, and you're watching Feed the Beast Tutorials Ultimate Pack. This is a beginner series, and um, this is episode 7. I'm going to be going over two machine blocks on this. The Macerator and the Electric Furnace. Now if you don't know what's going on back here, the generator, the bat box, or even the copper cable for that matter, just go watch the first two episodes, episode 1 and episode 2. Those two will give you the foundations of what these things are, these machines, uh, except for Soul Panel, don't worry about these. Um, and at the beginning, you're going to need a generator just for power, and then a bad box if you want to store some power, and directly connect that with a copper cable, and have these nice little machines. Um, I'm going to be explaining only these two machines on this episode because they have a direct correlation. These two episodes will be in the next episode, and it's, it's going to be pretty short. These two are pretty simple, but let's go over the macerator. With the Grec Tech, the macerator is its so hard to make. You need diamonds now, and it will take you a while to get to, but it's worth it because it actually doubles your output. This doubles your output of all ores. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. It doubles your output. So what that means is, let me show you. Is You know how if you, um, on the last, last episode, I showed you that electric furnace, if you put one... If you put an iron ore, it will give you one iron ingot. And it's fast and it's nice. So you want to use the power. Um, let's see what a macerator does. Let's put the iron ore on a macerator or in a macerator. Uh, it's going to take a little time because macerator works pretty slow. Um, but let's come on, finish. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, baby, you got it. Okay, let, let that finish. And see what happens. It's going to give us two iron dust. Let's take the iron dust away from there. And let's take the iron dust and put it in the electric furnace. Let's see what happens. Yep, it's cooking it. That's right. From one iron ore, the macerator gave you two iron dust. And from each iron dust, you get an iron ingot. So from a stack of, you know, iron ore, I mean, you could do the math. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're not dumb, but <laughs> uh, you, <laughs> you get for 64, you get double. So you get two stacks of iron ingot. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is pretty simple. I say invest in a macerator as early as possible because, like I said, it's going to double your output of everything. And the electric furnace is really nice to have next to it. And... Uh, on like on the next couple episodes, probably right after I finish the extractor and the compressor on the next episode, so episode nine, I want to say or ten, is going to be the setup. Um, I'll take you back to my base and show you my setup right now. So this is my base, and I just wanted to quickly show you my setup. Is the macerator right here, the electric furnace, just like I showed you guys in the other one, extractor and compressor, and I have a chest that everything comes into. Um, I will show you this exact sh exact setup on a video tutorial so you know exactly how these things work with all this engine and how I'm powering it and all these crafting tables so it's kind of nice to have you know you could have a nice little workstation uh, in your base but that's gonna be around episode 10 so keep watching and l you know like and subscribe man so uh, I could keep doing these I could get into maybe I'll do a video on industrial blast furnace and electricizer and all this other crap that's here but um yeah uh, see you guys soon bye